So, hi everyone, uh, my name is Nunte Scheide. So, today I'm going to start a new exercise, namely the exercise made on the, the AU University, Autodesk University, by Ken March, Robot Structural Analysis Making the Change. Uh, Ken March is a structural engineer who joined the Autodesk and uh, he has written, he's the author of Robot Structural Analysis Professional Essentials and uh, he gave this exercise, this Robot Structural Analysis Making the Change on the AU University. You may find the link to the website of the AU University over here, okay. It is on the description, I'm going to leave this on the description. So let's get started. Once again, I will follow the steps over, over here on the contents of this PDF document. It is this document right here on the web page. It is the handout. You open robot and then you have your interface over here. And now I'm going to press the new and I'm going to choose the building design. We have never done anything on this uh, on this template. We have never done anything on this template and now we're going to use it. So I'm going to click building design. Okay. Robot is going to open and uh, the first thing that you may see is that you've got a view tab and a plan tab, okay? And uh, this template is the only one that has these two tabs for the view one. You always have a plan view and a 3D view with your cube on the right upper side of your screen okay now we're going to do the project setup in this exercise i'm going to work with the imperial units uh, I, I have done my the exercise previously with the metric system but now we are going to use the us customary or imperial system okay so let me go to tools preferences languages Regional settings, United States. Okay, accept. Tools, job preferences. Units in format, view imperial. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to hit materials. I'm going to choose A99250 for the steel. Okay, just as it is. Just open this drop down, search for it. And it is. right here okay I'm going to expand the databases and here you got all the databases that we are going to use if you need to load any data database that you don't have here just press this button and you can load steel and timber sections database in this exercise we will need in this exercise we will need this one over here and also this one over here for the joists okay now let's go to the design codes steel aluminium structure I'm going to use just as it is over here for the reinforced concrete structures this one okay I'm going to press OK it's everything set before we move on any further if you go to steel aluminium structures and ask for more you've got a list of codes available for the dimensioning of your steel structures okay if you press the button for more also steel connections steel connections you have these codes over here 
timber structures. You've got this. Now I'm going to expand the design codes. I'm going to load and code combinations will be according to load and resistance factor design. I'm going to press OK. Now let's model the structural axis. I'm going to press this button over here, OK. And on the X tab I'm going to enter 0. The number of repetitions will be 2. And we will, the distance will be 30 feet. If you want to know and you are not used to uh, let's put it this way. One foot equals approximately 30 centimeters. So 30 feet equals 9 meters approximately. Okay, so let's press add on the y ax. The repetitions will be 2. The distance will be 20, which is actually 6 meters. I'm going to name it ABC. Sorry. ABC over here. Add. OK. Now let's go to Z. The base will be 0. Story 1 will be 14. And we are going to add 28 feet. 4. Sorry. I need to delete that. Do the value and add. Okay, very good. You may uncheck this box and you get zero number of repetition two and the distance will be 14 feet. Add this, then you'll get this. The stories is something different. I'm going to uncheck this box to leave it this way. Okay, I'm going to apply and there you have your on the view, on the plan view over here and on the view cube, the 3D view you've got some sort of like this, okay? Something like this. Now I'm going to set up the stories to match the levels that we have had. You have the level 0, 0, 14, and 28 feet, okay? So the stories are important because we are going to use it in seismic analysis, okay? So let's go to Geometry, Stories, and press this button over here. We are going to define it manually. Story 1, number of addition in 1, and add. OK, I'm going to add this, and there you go. You've got Story 1, where the top level is 14, the height is 14, and Story 2, top level 28, the height is also 14. Okay, you need this for the seismic analysis and we are going to talk it in a later video. So now I'm running out of time. So thank you very much. Robot structure analysis making the change. I think it's a great exercise. It stumbles upon a lot of issues in robot, and I'm pretty sure this is a good exercise. So I hope you guys stay tuned and uh, please subscribe and give this video a like. It will help me very much, okay? Thank you for watching.